Welcome back to Inside Out. Well, let's focus on our SWAT light segment. Pyramid farmers are stock on our radar and the raging debate is whether there's value or it's a trap. Well, the company listed in October 2022 and it's a demerged farm arm of Pyramid Enterprises. The key reason for demerger was simplification of the corporate structure. But since listing, well, the stock has pulled back close to around 30%. And the market capitalization is around 16,000 crores, which is a far cry away from what it listed at. And it's even low at the valuations at which Carlyle picked up 20% stake a few years ago. Well, the company has three broad divisions. It includes CDMO, that's the largest part of their business, followed by complex hospital generic segment. And finally, India consumer healthcare business, which is growing at a fast clip. Now, going by these three verticals, the company can be categorized as a non-commoditized player. Let us tell you a little bit more about each division, starting with CDMO. Well, the company has 13 sites across North America, Europe and India. It boasts of capabilities across drug substance and drug products. They claim to be in the top three in India and have global footprint with capabilities to meet wide range of customer requirement. The company has been leveraging their end-to-end -end model to offer integrated services. They're also focusing on deep development project pipeline and growth-oriented capex to drive growth. Next up, let's focus on the complex hospital generic segment, which has focus on inhalation anesthesia and pain management, as well as other injectables. And the company claims to be the fourth largest inhaled anesthesia player globally. The company says that strong inhalation anesthesia sales in the United States with volume growth is driving market share gains. They're witnessing robust demand from markets like Japan, South Africa, and Latin. Well, the smallest part of their business is India consumer healthcare, but it's growing at a rapid pace. This segment houses brands like Lactocalamine, Ipil, Saradon, Littles, and Polycrawl. The company claims to be ranked 10th in the OTC segment in India. They have been reinvesting the profits back into business and so consciously working at EBITDA neutral as they are spending more on sales promotion so that they can grow the top line faster. The management says that when this segment hits around 1,000 crores, they believe it will be able to cover the fixed and the variable costs, which in turn will aid profitability. Now, in the second quarter, well, they grew in only single digits and margins were in low teens. The street was clearly disappointed. However, the second half of the year has been much stronger than the first half, with around 55% of revenues and 66% of EBITDA being reported in the second half. The company guided that this trend is likely to continue in this year as well. They've also guided for a meaningful improvement in EBITDA margins with improved traction in sales. The net debt is around 4,400 crores, and that's gone up in the last six months or so. So the total enterprise value is around 20,000 crores. Then the, the management has said they expect 15% revenue growth in the next three to around five years, and they've reiterated that margins will scale towards mid-20s. So in FY25, if the revenues can hit around 10,000 crores, and EBITDA could hit around 2,500 crores. Now, on a valuation front, the stock is trading much cheaper than its peers, and it enjoys valuation comfort, though some of them may not be directly comparable. But delivery of the guidance that the management has given is extremely crucial, and the street appears to be a little bit cautious on them falling short. Well, we have run out of time on this edition of Inside Out. It's goodbye from Sonal and myself. But you do keep writing to us and tell us about companies you want us to discuss. And we'll try to feature them on the show. Thanks so much for watching.